Now, I have been a fan of this woman uh, since I was a teenager. We are so excited to yes. have her in the country. Janet Jackson, welcome to the Carrie and Tommy show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> it's so good to have you here. You haven't been here since 2011. We've been just so, so pumped to have you back for R&B Fridays Live. What can we expect? Give us the lowdown on what's going to happen at this concert. I don't know. I always say music, dancing and singing because <laughs> that's what you're going to get. I just hope everyone enjoys themselves. Is there anyone else that's performing that you're very excited to see? I don't know if I'll have the opportunity to see anyone, actually, but I would love to see them all. I love Jason, Black Eyed Peas. I, I enjoy th their work, all of them. So hopefully I'll get the chance to see someone. Will you be giving us like the old tunes, the new tunes, a bit of a mix? What, what's the set li list looking like? Yeah, you'll be getting a little bit of everything, and it's 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 not very very long the set, but you'll be getting a little bit of everything. I'm trying to cram as much as I can <laughs> into the amount of time that we have. Music is so incredibly nostalgic. Um, I still remember making out to a boy in the back of a car to "Got Till It's Gone." Every time I hear that <laughs> song, I think of him. Is there like music that takes you back to certain points in your life? Of course there is. I think it's that way for everyone. Um, and that's one of the beauties of music, I do believe, because it, it makes you reminisce. It can make you feel different emotions depending upon what was going on in your life at that moment. Especially when that feel good one comes on and uh, I remember this being with my friends and we were out having a great time. Yeah, it for sure does that for me. Well, it's funny that you mentioned Feel Good because Carrie actually described the boy that she was making out with to that song and she said he, he was gross. <laughs> the music got me through it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, it could, like I said, it can have a different effect, different emotions. <laughs> she said he had a big mullet. Do you know what a mullet is, Janet? Is that an Australian term? Well, I, that used to, that was a haircut for us in the States. Oh, yeah, it's that's the same. That's exactly right. Yeah, yeah so that's yes. what it is for you? Yes. A mullet, the short and then long in the back and short in the front? <laughs> yeah. yeah, mullet. Business at the front, yeah, those were, at the back. Yeah, those were pretty ugly, I thought. <laughs> exactly. Haircuts. But Which it was the in thing. Experience. <laughs> uh, you're out here with your beautiful son. Uh, I'm wondering if touring or motherhood's proving to be tougher for you. Uh, it, it, it's obviously both incredibly hard. Doing it together must be a massive challenge. Actually, he's he's actually not here with me on this trip, but it is it is tough, and which is is the toughest. They're both difficult. I mean, and I don't have a nanny, no, so I know. Um, so how do you so do it? I've got three kids. It's and I hard. Take my it's hat it's off you always. It's very tiring. It is. You never get enough sleep. <laughs> no. Never get enough sleep. And he always wakes me up, Mama. Oh. Mama, Mama, get up. Mama, get up, please. Mama, wake up. But because like, yes, they're so baby. cute and you see their little faces and then you're like, you know what, I'm tired, but I can do this. Of course, of course. He's, he's the reason I breathe. He's my heart. Oh. Why do you choose to do it without a nanny? Why do you choose to do it on your own? It must make it you immensely know, tougher. My mother did it. Her mother did it. Why not? Why can't I? And, and there was a point where I did have I have someone, but I prefer not to. Mm. And we'll see. I'm sure I will need someone in the future, some help here and there. But I, I don't have I don't have anyone, and I love it. Well, Carrie knows a guy with a mullet who definitely doesn't have a job, <laughs> and it's available if you need someone to help. For a, a manny. <laughs> Manny, exactly. I love that you've showed your, your beautiful son videos of you dancing. There's the videos that I still watch today. What did he make of it when he saw them? Oh, he he loves it. He says, see Mama dance. See Mama dance. Watch Mama dance. See Mama dance. Watch Uncle Michael and Mama. So, so he beautiful. wants to see Scream <laughs> at that point. Yeah. Have you he has his favorites, moves? though. <laughs> <laughs> he does he does this thing that my my brother did from doesn't really care about us um the march oh, and the yeah. hand yeah he does a few things he does he does the head he loves smooth criminal so he does the head and the ooh. <laughs> <laughs>
Has he, got he does a good that voice? and he does the point. Has he got a good voice? He <clears throat> he carries a tune. He he's very musical, incredibly musical, and he loves he loves watching the band. He loves watching. He's seen the show. He loves watching the show. He loves being where the band is. He loves the drums. Violin, guitar, piano, he plays. He plays? Um, yeah, I mean, wow. he, 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 he really enjoys it. He makes up melodies. He oh carries gosh, a tune. That's incredible. He has really good <laughs> pitch, really good pitch. If he grows up and he doesn't go down the showbiz route and goes on to become an accountant, <laughs> will you be really disappointed? Of course not. Oh. <laughs> Not at all. It's really about what he wants to do with his life. Well, because I read what in makes your him happy. acceptance speech at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame that you wanted to be a lawyer. Is that right? Yeah, I did. I did. I, di I didn't want to be in the entertainment business other than acting to, to, to support myself through uh, school, really. But I, I wanted to study business law, and my father said no. So wow. here I am. Do you ever think what life might have been if you, <laughs> what you'd be doing now if you were a I lawyer? <laughs> I sometimes do. It probably the family attorney, entertainment attorney. I don't know. I don't know how good I would have been. But obviously, this was the path I was supposed to take. I mean, it's been. I'm very blessed. It's been very good. Me. Your parents very much wanted you guys to be grounded, even though, you know, you were performing at such a young age. I was reading that, um, like most of us, uh, our parents used to make us do the chores, that your mum and dad were like, you might have been on stage last night, but you're raking the leaves in yeah. the morning. Are you kidding me? Yes. And we grew up, we had three acres. So every That's a leaf. a lot of leaves. Had, yeah, you're telling me. <laughs> I mean, most kids, you get up when you want on a Saturday morning. We were getting up early, 6 o'clock in the morning, doing chores. And it wasn't just that, but I took care of the animals. We all had different chores, so I had to clean all the animals. And we had so many animals. Had to clean all the animal cages. Had to bathe oh, all the gross. animals. <laughs> but, you know, we had neighbors, couldn't smell. Whether you have neighbors or not, it shouldn't. But couldn't, no smells. Had to keep them nice and clean. Feed them. Really cared for them. It's funny, my job growing up was to clean out the chook pen, and yep. I wouldn't have thought there was anything that you and I had in common, but to hear that you had to clean up after the animals makes me feel that I wasn't the only one having to do chores. You had to clean out the what? The chook, the chook pen, where all chickens. the chooks were, the chickens. That was my oh. job, to clean out the chicken pen. Oh, you see, there you go. Yeah. There you have it. You could have gone on to become a star. Yes, only I didn't have any other talents, <laughs> <laughs> unlike this incredible woman here. <laughs> Janet, talking about um, childhood, what's the most important thing that you think you want to pass down to your son? My gosh, the most important? Mm -hmm. I don't know if there's just one in particular, one, th one specific thing. Um, keeping God very close to you, always. Respecting others, but also make sure they respect you. Oh, there's so much. It, it, it can go on and on. Um, always follow your heart. Listen to your gut. Um, there's there's so many different things. I, uh, there's a lot. So I wouldn't say there's one thing in particular. There's a, there's a few things. How's yeah. life changed? How have you changed since having him? Oh, gosh. Well, I've always been a patient person, but... There's more patience that you have to have. And I never knew I was as patient as I really am. Um, he's first and foremost in my life. So that's, uh, I get up, I go to sleep. Everything is about him. He comes first in my life. Well, we're glad that even though he's number one, you're willing to fit us into yeah. your crazy schedule and come <laughs> out here and perform at R&B Fridays Live. We cannot wait to see you. Thank you for being such um, an incredibly generous interview and we hope you enjoy Australia again. No, I, I love it here and it's so, it's so nice to be back and thank you for having me. Rock it up there. Enjoy it. Thanks, Janet. Thank you. Bye.